What's up guys, Rogue9 here, and if you've been paying close attention to some of the details in my gun test videos over the last few seasons, you may have noticed something a little curious. Uh, let's take my last video for example, where I compare and contrast Sam's MP7 and SC3000K. Here is the end result of the recoil tests that I ran for the MP7 in that video, and of course, all of the patterns look a little different because of the various muzzle attachments used. But if you look closely, you will recognize that the underlying patterns are in fact not just similar, but 100% identical. In fact, we can look at the test footage burst by burst and you will see that the recoil parameters for every single bullet are the exact same, with of course the effect of each muzzle attachment layered over the top. Feel free to pause the video and play spot the difference if you like and you will see that bullet for bullet, burst for burst, the underlying recoil is the same. If we skip forward in the Sam Fisher video to my tests with the SC3000K, we can observe the exact same phenomenon. Every burst comes out the exact same way. But let's make things even clearer by using the same attachments. Here for instance are two separate patterns I shot with the SMG11. Placed side by side, it is already clear that burst for burst, the recoil is exactly identical. We can even layer the two clips over the top of each other to prove beyond a shadow of a doubt that each bullet is experiencing the exact same recoil. If we aim somewhere completely different, the comparison becomes a little tougher because of the different distances and surfaces, but still, I think it's absolutely clear that the recoil remains identical. And we can run this experiment again and again with literally any weapon in the game and the results become 100% predictable. There's no doubt about this anymore, recoil in Rainbow Six Siege is not random. That's huge! But how long has this been going on for and how has nobody ever noticed this? I've been suspicious of the recoil for several seasons now, the only problem was that I just couldn't quite understand the mechanism behind it and it has taken me several seasons of coming back to this topic again and again to finally understand how on earth non-random recoil has gone unnoticed for so long. Let me show you how it all works. As you may already know, recoil in Rainbow Six Siege has always been made up of two components. If you already know about all of this, you may choose to use the timeline of the video to skip forward to the next part, but if this is new to you, in a nutshell, each gun in Rainbow Six has a fixed vertical recoil component and a randomizing recoil diamond. The strength of the vertical component dictates the muzzle rise that each gun experiences from shot to shot, and the shape of the recoil diamond will make the bullets fall randomly above or below, left or right, with most guns having a bias to one side. That's how it's always been, and for the first two and a half years of the game's life, the recoil was calculated on the fly each time you pulled the trigger. But if you've been around for a while, you will remember that back then, we used to experience an issue with the recoil of the weapons desynchronizing from the recoil of the sight reticle. This meant that if you fired longer bursts, your shots would start to deviate from your point of aim rather than remaining precisely on it. The initial proposal by the devs to fix this was to add a handful of fixed recoil patterns into the game, much like CSGO has. This would have made the recoil of each gun perfectly predictable from burst to burst, but that idea ended up being ditched over fears that players would be able to use simple macros to perfectly counter these patterns, and also the fact that the patterns that were initially chosen looked a, looked a touch ridiculous. Instead, several seasons later, with the launch of Operation Grim Sky, the devs rebuilt the recoil system from the ground up by manually recreating the recoil for each and every gun, and that is when I believe the quasi-randomization that I have now finally uncovered and understood was added into the game. All in all, the team and I must have fired hundreds of burst patterns with a variety of weapons to determine which factors influence the recoil patterns of the gun, and finally being able to replicate the same recoil from burst to burst was surprisingly hard to find out. 
You see, as I demonstrated before, when you conduct quite clinical trials, standing in the same position, firing at the same wall, it's quite easy to achieve the same patterns. But that doesn't always work. Sometimes the patterns will be different and it took us a surprising amount of time to realize that it's all down to which bullet starts out the burst. Let's take the AK-12 as an example here. The gun has 241 bullets available in total for each round of a PvP match and if we fire off a full burst starting with bullet number 1, it will always look exactly like this. At least with my personal setup of the gun, which is angle grip and compensator, and we can repeat this experiment an infinite number of times with either ace or fuse and the result will always be 100% identical. Now, if we start the burst with bullet number two, though, the burst will look like this. And again, this can be replicated an infinite amount of times as long as we start the burst off with bullet number two. If we compare the patterns from bullet number one and two a bit more closely, it might at first seem as if the recoil is hard-coded from bullet to bullet and that if we align bullet number two from the first trial with bullet number two, i.e. the first shot from the second trial, then the rest of the burst will align. But that theory doesn't hold up. The fact is that even though the first few shots look similar, the rest of the bursts are different and therefore they must be completely unique. We can confirm this by starting a burst off from bullet number three and if we overlap this burst with with either of the two others, you can see that there is no similarity whatsoever. So it seems like the way it works is that every gun has a set of fixed patterns that are selected by the game based on which bullet you start out with. That perfectly explains how my full recoil tests where I empty the entire magazine for every burst end up with exactly the same patterns because each burst starts out at the same bullet number. First number 1, then 32, then 63, 94, etc. At least that is the case for guns that have a capacity of 30 plus 1 bullets. But then we try to confirm this theory with a test firing burst for burst and suddenly getting exact matches was a lot harder. Only every now and then would we manage to match maybe one of the patterns from one trial to another. And as much as that was super frustrating to deal with at the time, it does provide us with another very useful piece of information. Clearly, each gun's finite number of fixed recoil patterns is somehow further randomized. As we saw earlier, compass heading doesn't matter and neither does the in-game timer. We tested that for several times. But our single burst trials resulted in different patterns and so I went ahead and tested the theory that maybe your character's position on the map is used to randomize the recoil your gun experiences. If we run the same trials with the SMG-11 as before but stand in a different position, we again end up with two identical patterns but critically this pattern is different to the one we shot earlier while standing further to the left. One more quick test of standing in the position of the first trial and then moving just slightly to the right proves it. Sadly, map location is in fact a secondary factor that will affect which one of the fixed recoil patterns is chosen for any given burst and even being off position by just a tiny bit will result in a selection of a different pattern by the game. That explains how this mechanism has been in the game for literally years now without being noticed. Even though the game uses a fixed set of burst patterns for each gun, they are randomized in such a way that unless you stand in exactly the same spot and start the burst off from exactly the same bullet, you will end up with a random and unpredictable recoil pattern and that sadly also severely limits the practical application of this discovery. I was really excited when I started noticing the exact same patterns in my tests and even when I found out about the randomization according to the bullet that starts the burst, I was still quite enthusiastic about how this could be used to predict the recoil of each gun and maybe make them more controllable for really dedicated players. 
But the fact that the location on the map is used to randomize the patterns as well means that using this knowledge to predict patterns and get some kind of gameplay advantage in Siege becomes almost impossible. In theory, you could find certain common angles on a map and learn the recoil but you have to be exactly in the right spot each time and we all know that standing still in Siege is usually not the play. So there we have it, the final conclusion is that sadly this discovery is not nearly as groundbreaking as I had initially hoped it would be, but I guess it's still interesting enough in terms of a little technical insight into what makes the game tick. I hope you found the video interesting nonetheless, thank you for watching and I will see you in the next episode.